Hi, Dale here from Jeep Solid. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. And Jason from Bronco Solid. Be sure to check out my channel as well. We're going to make a quick video, maybe help somebody out, on just doing a quick, simple oil change on the Jeep Wrangler. We're going to be using the Purolator filter here, L14670, and we're just going with some standard Quaker State 1030 oil. JeepSolid.com we're going to start by removing the drain plug. And obviously we have the drain pan underneath it ready to catch the oil. A good trick is to provide pressure pushing in on the plug until you feel the threads release. And then you can pull it out quickly. Now we're just going to let that drain for a while. And now that all the oil is drained, we're going to go ahead and replace the drain plug. And you can torque this to 25 foot-pounds. And okay, next we're using an oil filter wrench to remove the oil filter. And you want to be sure you have the oil drain pan underneath because it's going to spill a little bit more oil. So in preparing the new filter, you want to take a little bit of your new oil and put it right on the rubber gasket there to prevent the new filter from seizing to the engine as it gets hot. And you can see on the instructions on the new filter that once the filter makes contact to the engine, you want to go three quarters to one full revolution to tighten it. You don't want to over tighten the filter. So what I like to do is just free spin it until it contacts, see right there? That way you know that's your starting point to start one revolution. I'm going to look for this red label and this thing to start coming back around so I know how tight to make it. Okay, we've moved this a little over three quarters of a turn and that should do it. We're going to add about half of this five quart container and check the dipstick. You want to be very careful that you don't overfill the oil. So as you get close to the end, you want to add oil in little increments. So now that we've added enough oil so it's close to the full mark on the dipstick, we want to start the engine to circulate the oil through the new filter. So now we're going to carefully add a little bit of oil and frequently check the dipstick to make sure we're not getting it over full. As you notice, Jason is removing the dipstick, cleaning it off, reinserting it, then checking the fluid level. It's really hard to see on the camera, but we are at the top of the safe zone. So there you go, super simple oil change on a Jeep Wrangler. Thanks for checking out Jeep Solid. Be sure to hop on over to Jason's channel, Bronco Solid, for some good tips there. Have a good day.